Well, hello there, I'm Camille Victoria, and I am here to help you launch your digital product. So if you are looking and were wondering for a while, how do you create printables or wall art? Well, I'm gonna take you through it today, and you can easily do it on Canva. You can do it for free, or you can use the pro version, and I'll take you through that a bit later on. In the meantime, I definitely want to tell you about our program that's just launched, Launch Your Digital Product. It's available now, it's, we've just opened the doors, it has tons of templates to get you started. So you can actually put up these digital products for sale now because we've actually got a commercial license with them. Not only that, we're going to take you through a step-by-step -step formula to help you create the most successful digital products to get you creating a passive income for 2022. If you really like the idea of creating printables in 2022, then definitely head down to the description below where I'll be able to give you a guided tour of the Launch Your Digital Product course. Well, let's get cracking. We've got a lot to get through here. I can't wait to show you the printables that I'm going to create and how you can create this fantastic income for 2022. Let's go. Well, hello and welcome to my Canva dashboard. Now, there might be a couple of things that you see on this dashboard that you may not see in yours at the moment because mine is a pro account. So don't worry about that now. If we need to use anything in particular on the pro account, then I will let you know as we go along. But here you are. So let's get cracking. We're going to start creating our wall art. So we're going to head over to custom size to begin with here. And you're going to put in 16 by 20. Whoops, that's going to actually be in inches. So make sure you change that first of all. Create new design there. And it's going to upload it here. So this is the right size that you would like to have for your wall art. Now, I've done a little bit of looking around on Creative Market. Believe me, I can actually spend hours on here. But for example, this one in particular is called eStudio 812. I absolutely love it. They have got a packed shop full of these clip arts that you can use. So if you're not really handy with the whole Procreate, then definitely have a look through the clip art. You'll be on there for hours, believe me. I came across these really cute animals. So you get five in this particular pack. Also, you have the backgrounds as well. So. I as you can see, they have the pink watercolour backgrounds that comes with the package. So please be mindful if you are going to create um, your own printable templates, then make sure that you have the right license for it. Now, this actually comes with a commercial license, but if you're going to actually sell over 500 of these, then maybe you should be looking for the more extended commercial license. But for now, I'm going to be using the commercial license. So we are now going to head over to our Canva template here and we're going to go to upload. Now in the upload section, you will pop all of your images there ready to start creating your wall art. So I've done this here. These are the five little cute animals that we'll be using. Now it's really simple to do that. You just head up to upload your media and you upload it in there. For time's sake, I've put them in there. So we're going to start off with Mr. Fox here. He, he's very, very cute, isn't he? Now you can make it really simple for yourself. So I'm going to pop him in the middle and to send to him, say for example, he was off there, you would just go position and center to make sure he's in the center of the page. Then I'm going to go over to elements and I want him to stand out. So I'm going to get a little border going on. And it's great because in Canva, they show you the border. So you literally just drag your element to the corner until it stops. And then you're going to go on to position and you're going to hit the back button and there's Mr. Fox. So to make sure it looks all aligned, we're going to drag him down to the bottom and I'm going to change this color. Now I want more of a woodland kind of color. So I'm going to go up to the color here in the corner. You can match the colors to the actual picture here. So you could go for more of a brown color if you want or a light brown. I mean, that's really cute. I'm going to go for a green, but more of a dark green. So let me go down here and I'm going to go for this one. And then you can start adding some text. So really do personalize it. If you're going to buy it from a particular um, shop on 
creative market, then make sure you put your own personality into it. That's another thing with a commercial license. So I'm going to put wild and free. So you'll know that I'm missing the and there in a moment, but I'll show you what I'm doing. And I'm going to, there's a couple of fonts that I've actually picked out before and they come to the top. So, so I'm just going to highlight the text there, click on there. Now to make the space um, a bit shorter between them, if you come up to this arrow here, go spacing, and then you just pull this. So I'm going to put that in the middle, well, just off center. Then I'm going to grab the and. So again, playing around these te with these texts and make sure that you're using the free fonts as well there. We're going to bring this text forward so it's over that and slightly. So you actually don't have to make it really, really complicated. It can be super, super easy. But for example, I've just created this one and that would then go into my mock-up wall art picture which I'll show you in just a second um, and then you can obviously upload that to Etsy. You can duplicate this page, you can change out the colours. The lady that actually sells these particular clip arts actually put a nice polka dot um, background to it so I can do that for you. So this is a pro um, background but you can get them on free. Maybe baby blue because it might go in the nursery there. Um, we're going to go back and we're going to just make Mr. Fox position center. Duplicate this page again. You could change in the rabbit, put the rabbit in, then for a more, let's go for a more pinky color there. So again, there are lots of ways that you can actually implement these into your shop, changing out different things and really changing the particular image. These are super cute. Now I will give you the links to actually these particular clip arts if that's what you would like to buy, uh, but definitely have a look through the Creative Market site. I'm sure you'll find lots. Now let's talk about how you will actually mock them up and put them into a listing ready for Etsy. Here we go. So what you would do here, when you've absolutely completed everything that you would like to with your designs, you would head up to download, and then you would click onto this section here, which is file type, and you would go down to PDF, and you click onto PDF. Now you won't need all four pages, but you would click onto the page that you want, and you would click done, and then you would download. You would download that and then you would give that PDF to your customer and job done, as easy as that. However, if you want to obviously share this template, then you can actually do that as well, but you would need a pro account. If you need a pro account for Canva, make sure you go down to the link below and that will allow you to have 30 days free trial. So make sure you check out that link. So we're now gonna use this cute little template for our mock-up art. So how we do that, we'd go down to PNG, click the wall art that we would like, hit done. And we're gonna download it. Now let's talk about how you will actually mock them up and put them into a listing ready for Etsy. Here we go looks a bit more center and it's quite nice actually with the um, wooden border there I think this is going to work quite well on there so as you can see you just need to obviously change the sizing slightly drag it up to the corner drag it back have a little play around with it so it looks good and there you have a really cute picture that you've actually popped in your wall up there and you've put it ready for your listing. So again, I can show you some more ways to actually list this. So if you would like to find out how to do that, definitely comment below. Again, there's lots of other designs that you can create to make beautiful wall art. 
I hope you enjoyed the wall art video. So now I'm gonna be taking you through how to make planner printables ready to sell on Etsy. So as you can see, this is my dashboard, which is jam packed full of templates, which is on my launch or digital program. Um, but for today, I'm gonna to be showing you a little bit of a dive into creating the printable planner. So down here again, all of these planners come with commercial license. So you can go off and sell this as it is in the program or you can actually create one of your own. But today I'm going to show you how to create your own too. So this is an example of what you can create. Okay, so this is your planner. Now it does give you some examples of how um, some planners could look down the side and you can even pop into their planner and I'm sure it will bring up some. Now again, you can't use those commercially because they obviously are owned by the actual designer's rights. However, let's get some inspiration by these particular ones down here. Beautiful colors, lots of text boxes, health and habits, these are great. And I'm gonna start with the text boxes. So I like to start with the text boxes so I can see what I'm gonna create here. So for today, I'm gonna do some, like a daily planner if you like. That I was just copy and pasting those, so about your boxes like that. So you've made your to do list there, and then you can actually put in some really tiny little boxes as well. Now, I'm going to make these a really nice light shaded pink, and then the box is more like a little purple color. You can make it even lighter by putting a little bit of a transparency on that. Then you can drag and drop. There we are. Little boxes there. You can go into position and they have a tidy up down here. So there we are. Space it out perfectly for you. The day of the week. And then you could, again, put in some more text at the top. Um, goals to there. Goals for Monday. So again, showing you just quickly how to put a little planner page together. Now you can actually do these planner pages, just sell them on their own, which is great. You can add in these lines here and it gives you the guidance of where they should realistically be. So you've made your little planner page now and you've got your little to-do lists with obviously the ticks in there. If you would like to jazz it up then you absolutely can. You can head over to um, Elements again and you can actually put, um, let's put some to cover. that behind the Monday just to make it stand out again you would just need to literally make sure that you have the pro accounts if you're going to use any elements like this and make sure obviously you have the commercial license for them if not you can pick these up on places like um, creative market they've got some really really cute ones in there um, so definitely check those out in the meantime I'm going to add uh, a little gray color there just a cute little coffee cup put some what looks like stickers on as well. I'm going to put a Boss Babe sticker on. Let's grab that one. Little stickers on there. So again that's just really really quick of how you can start developing your planner. As I said we have this all done for you if you want to start creating get some inspiration then of course you can join us on our launch your digital product which has just opened its doors. When you finish with this and you want to start selling it and putting it up on Etsy then all you would need to do is definitely change this to you could put it pretty little planner on there again PDF print and make sure all of the pages are selected so that's your PDF 
printable. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was taking you on a whistle-stop shop to actually creating your own digital products. And if you love this, then you're absolutely gonna love the Launch Your Digital Product program that is available now, so make sure you head below to take that tour. In the meantime, if you've got any questions about creating digital products, definitely pop them in the comments below. I can't wait to see you on the next video. I'll see you then.